when anyone diagnosed with cancer, they may experience shock, anger, or disbelief. They may feel intense sadness, fear, and a sense of loss. Even the most supportive family members and friends cannot understand exactly how it feels unless they have received a cancer diagnosis themselves. This may cause feel lonely, misunderstood, or isolated. Finding a support group is a way for to interact with other people who have similar, first-hand experiences with cancer. You can talk to them about their experiences and share your own. This can help reduce stress. In a cancer support group, members can feel more comfortable sharing feelings and experiences that may be too difficult or too awkward to share with their family and friends. Being part of a group often creates a sense of belonging that helps each person feel more understood and less alone. They can also discuss practical information in a support group. This may include what to expect during treatment, how to manage specific side effects, how to find support services, and how to communicate with healthcare providers and family members. Talking about these topics within the support group could provide a sense of control and reduce feelings of helplessness as you cope with cancer. Here are some types of cancer support groups you might consider. 1. Local support groups. Many hospitals, cancer treatment centers, and community organizations offer support groups for people affected by cancer. These groups may be specific to certain types of cancer or may be more general in nature. 2. Specialized groups. These groups are designed for people with specific types of cancer, such as breast cancer, prostate cancer, or lung cancer. They may focus on issues specific to that type of cancer, such as treatment options or managing side effects. 3. Online support groups. There are many online cancer support groups that allow individuals to connect with others who are going through similar experiences. 4. Peer-led support groups. Peer-led support groups are led by individuals who have been affected by cancer and have received training to lead a group. These groups may be more informal in nature and can provide a sense of community and understanding for those who participate. 5. Professional-led support groups. Professional-led support groups are led by healthcare professionals such as oncology social workers or psychologists. These groups may offer more structured support and may focus on specific topics such as coping with the emotional impact of cancer or managing treatment side effects. 6. Support groups for caregivers. Caregivers of individuals with cancer also need support and may benefit from joining a caregiver support group. These groups offer support and guidance to help caregivers cope with the challenges of caring for a loved one with cancer. They provide support, resources, and education to help caregivers manage the physical, emotional, and practical challenges of caregiving. 7. Survivorship Groups. These groups are designed for people who have completed cancer treatment and are transitioning into survivorship. They focus on issues related to survivorship, such as managing long-term side effects, coping with anxiety and fear of recurrence, and adjusting to life after cancer. Joining a cancer support group can have many benefits, including Feeling less alone and isolated Gaining emotional support and understanding from others who have been through similar experiences Learning coping skills and strategies for managing cancer-related challenges Accessing information and resources about cancer treatment and survivorship Building a sense of community and connection with others